I'm Jeff Baumgartner with Light Reading Cable. I'm pleased to be joined by Kevin O'Toole with Comcast Business Services. Hey, so, Jeff. Hey, how are you doing? It's good to have you here. And I have a, you know, just to kind of start off, just kind of give us a quick recap just to get everybody back up to speed in terms of, uh, you know, the markets that uh, Comcast is focused on, you know, with business services right now in terms of the size and scope of the businesses. Sure, sure. We, we tend to think of our business in two distinct categories, the very small businesses under 20 employees and then another segment, the 20 to 500 employee business. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've long said we thought that was between a 10 and 20 billion dollar, or sorry, a 20 and 30 billion dollar market opportunity in our service territory. Okay. And lately, you're talking a lot more about kind of integrating cloud services into the right. business services environment, how that's changing everything. And um, you know, getting, maybe get us up to speed too, as well as uh, you know what you're doing. You know, in the cloud, you have a new you have a new product you guys have deployed uh, or launched recently. So. Right. Give us an update on that. Sure, glad to. You know, we've long been in the hosted exchange business. We actually okay. were doing that cloud-based service for a long time. Recently, we launched what we call Business Voice Edge, which is a cloud-based phone service for small businesses. And what Voice Edge really allows a customer to do is not to have any expensive telephone equipment at their business location. Rather, it's all in the cloud for them. And so if they have multiple sites, maybe you're a, a physician's office that has four or five locations around the city, rather than having to have a telephone system at each location, which can be expensive and confusing, we can put one service in the cloud and you can have four digit dialing and the same handsets everywhere, uh, the same voicemail platform everywhere, advanced PBX functionality, and uh, high definition voice calling between the locations, a toolbar that integrates with your hosted Microsoft cloud service. So you really get corporate grade phone quality without a big investment. We can do it all from the cloud for you. Okay, and I, I realize it hasn't been out in the market relatively, you know, uh, that long. So, how well, anecdotally, how, I mean, how is it performing right now? What kind of um, businesses are kind of being attracted to sure. know, this new product? Sure. Sure. You know. That multi-site customer is the perfect customer for Voice Edge, right? Because they tend to have a handful of employees at each location. It's very expensive for them to amortize the cost of a phone service only over just 10 or 15 employees. But when we can do it from the cloud, they get all the benefits and they don't have to buy all that equipment. So those smaller multi-site customers are loving it. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to touch on, it was a surprise to learn for me that you guys um, I've really started to deploy you know, Ethernet over coax. And Correct. It seems like you have it uh, here in a few markets. So, how many markets is it in? And, and uh, can you explain kind of what that, uh, why that's important, what that gives you guys? Sure. So, we launched Ethernet over HFC in eight markets around the country, uh, very quietly, as, as is our nature. Mm -hmm. And what the beauty of Ethernet over HFC is, it starts to take advantage of all the coax we have in lots of business parks around the country, and allows customers to take take advantage of the reach and cost efficiency of coax to get Metro Ethernet to their branch office locations and then seamlessly mix it with fiber fed connectivity to their larger data centers or, or larger sites where they need more bandwidth. So we think it gives customers the opportunity to find a perfect balance of I can get Metro Ethernet where I need it, it keeps the cost center control, and it's still Metro E end to end from a facilities based alternative provider who can control the customer experience for them end to end. All right, now, is so the, the performance about the same in terms of the speeds and everything if you're doing it over coax versus the, the fiber fed right. things? There's, there's obviously different performance characteristics in terms of the absolute amount of bandwidth we can provide, okay. but we can provide uh, EPL, EVPL, dedicated internet over the coax segment, uh, comes with a hard SLA, and it's really Metro Ethernet, seamlessly blends with your fiber locations. Okay, great. You, know, you guys talked a lot about cloud and how that's kind of a big opportunity and how that's changing everything, but looking ahead to uh, 2013, what do you see as some of the um, uh, kind of growth opportunities uh, you know, for Comcast Business Services? Right, well, you know, we're, we're blessed to be serving a very large market. Uh, we're only part way into the market, so first and foremost, we're going to keep our eyes focused on doing a few things well, Jeff. Go out there, serve them with data, serve them with phone, really ramp up that voice edge service, make sure that as we do that, we're always keeping a good eye on the customer service end of it, and also ramp up our Metro Ethernet. You know, it's, it's relatively early days for us still in Metro EU. We've been at it for a couple years. A lot of room to run there, continued deployment of Ethernet over HFC. So we've got, uh, the new cloud tricks in our bag, we've got the new Metro E tricks in our bag. For us, it's all about scale and reach at this point. All right, well, Kevin, thanks a lot for your thanks time. Thanks so much, Jeff. It's great it. seeing you. Yeah, Take you care. Too. You too, thanks.